So hi, I'm Mike. I'm one of the emergency room physicians at the Moncton Hospital, and I'm here to show you uh, an approach to um, uh, protecting your ultrasound machine while using it on patients who are suspect COVID. So here I have my sonocyte um, machine that is uh, basically cleared of any extra supplies. Normally we have this filled with our supplies. It's actually now empty. And uh, we fashioned a uh, protection manual to the, device, to the ultrasound that we can use for reference about how to approach this process. Uh, we're gonna need some specific supplies for this. Uh, we've decided to use the following. So I have a protective clear plastic drape that I'll be using over the, over the machine. And I have three small bags and three elastics for the probes. We should also recommend having outside the ante room a probe, sterile probe with gel in the event that you need sterile procedure done or in the event that you have an issue with your other covers. And lastly, I would recommend that we have some extra muco gel in the event that you need more gel. What I'll do is I'll turn the machine on And remember, this is something that can be done when you're not in PPE. This is, this is not uh, inside the room with the patient. This is in advance to entering the room. You're gonna take your cavi wipes, which are for cleaning the machine, and put six, maybe even eight to 10 wipes someplace on your machine where you can access them afterwards. So I'm gonna place them, actually I'll place them all in here for after the procedure. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my probes and I'm going to hang them off the clip like this. Take my clear plastic drape. I'm going to cover as much as I can with the drape. Now what I'll do is I'll grab, or reach underneath the machine and I'll grab the probes. And because if you have a, a large enough drape, you'll have enough slack on the drape to actually place your probes back in their holder. Now what I'll do is I'll grab some gel, regular non-sterile ultrasound gel. And I'll put some gel on each probe face. Next, what you'll do is you'll grab one of your small bags and uh, an elastic band. You're going to make sure you have adequate gel between your probe and the plastic, because that's required for transmission of ultrasound waves and secure it with a bag, uh, with a, a, an elastic. The last step before going in is take your gel again and put some gel over top of the protective covers. At this point, you're ready to enter the room with your PPE and use the ultrasound as, as deemed necessary.
So as we discussed in the previous video, our ultrasound machine is prepped. It's been protected by clear plastic drapes. Uh, each ultrasound probe has um, a protective drape over it as well, which is uh, secured by an elastic band. And there is gel both inside against the probe face itself and outside against the plastic cover. So now I've deemed that there is to be a sterile procedure done with ultrasound in this patient, such as the insertion of a central venous catheter. At this point, what I would do is I would have a sterile drape, uh, sorry, sterile field created with my central venous catheter tray, which I did not open at this point because I don't want to waste precious supplies. And this is sterile. And I would also have a pair, a second pair of sterile gloves, as well as a second uh, uh, set of sterile equipment to perform this procedure on top of my PPE. Again, I don't want to waste those supplies in this pandemic. Be sterile in this in this position with my sterile tray, and I would ask my nursing my nursing colleague to hand me uh, the uh, sterile probe and gel to cover the ultrasound machine. So again, we're working on the premise that this is a sterile field. So in our kits, in our bags, we have a the sterile cover in plastic, sterile gel in its own in, in its own package and two small rubber bands with some adhesive if required. What I would do then is I would have my nursing colleague, Sonia, come around beside me and prepare the linear probe, which would be used for central venous catheter placement. So she's to pick up the probe and hold it straight up and down so that I can place the, the, the sheath. There is a, an orientation set of uh, arrows that will allow me to know which way that the, the non-sterile person grabs this and pulls down. So just hold it straight up and down as we had it. Good. Don't move your hands. And in this fashion, I now can secure the bag and my nursing colleague can pull the bag down all the way down over the ultrasound. Then I secure with my elastic bag. And now, at this point, by applying the sterile gel, I can still perform ultrasonography with adequate acoustic windows. At this point in uh, the, the sequence of things, this is to assume that I've now had to perform a sterile procedure on a patient, such as the insertion of a central venous catheter, and now I want to properly doff the machine from its protective gear, and then subsequently doff myself without contamination. So now what I have is I have my probe that I was using to uh, uh, perform a procedure on the patient, which is in its sterile, uh, sheath covering that I want to doff properly. So I have two pairs of gloves on. One of these, the other sets of gloves was, was put on in a sterile fashion to perform the procedure and I will be keeping those gloves on at this point. So I'm going to remove the elastic band and then be careful not to contaminate from the dirty outer surface. I'm going to take this sheath off. So now I have this probe and all other probes which were protected at this point that I need to take off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off the elastic bands and now at this point I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to proceed to doff the machine. So I'm going to take the probes in my hand one by one 
taking off the protective plastic bed. I'm going to hold these as far away from the machine as possible. And now from the bottom, I'm going to take the plastic drape, trying to keep it inside out as much as possible. And the garbage can as well. And now what I can do is I can drape these over and I have pre-supplied cavity wipes to clean the machine. In fact, actually at this point, I should wash my hands once more since I've been high risk for contamination. And now I methodically take a cavity wipe, clean each probe, and cord as thoroughly as possible. Now I'm going to take another probe, uh, sorry, another wipe, and I'm going to wipe the entire machine down. Between any of these steps, if you felt that you might have had extra contamination, wash your gloved hands again. At this point, I'm going to wash my hands once more. I'm going to pass the machine out into the ante room to somebody who will receive it. And now I begin the process of doffing my PPE.